Let's read the names of uh, the teams. I'm going to read here the Orcas, and you're going to read the... Uh, yes, let's do this Mal fast. So um, oh, we are in the game. Game yeah. started now. Are you excited? <laughs> and uh, oh, Malch is in ball possession, trying to push through. And stopped in the middle of the pool by the Orca for checking. Orcas in white, uh, Malch in blue. And we are now in the middle of the pool, and Malz is in possession and coming towards the area of uh, the Colombian team. Let's see. Um, I'm very curious about the playing style of the Colombians because in the first minute they always adapt to another team and then this what we so-called swarm intelligence is uh, uh, getting into gear and they are really adept in exploiting the weaknesses of the other team as far as there are any. So I'm curious how they will probe into the Mulch defense and play and then go forward or if Mulch has a mean means to break into uh, the Orca defense and score. Let's see what happens. Malch still in ball possession in the corner here and pushing forward. Malch players are uh, massing around uh, the Colombian basket. Nicely played on the other side. This is going to be, it looks like this is going to really be a challenge for uh, the Orcas. Very agitated movements around uh, the defense now. And uh, Samuel, the captain of the team, in ball possession, passing to his teammates, breaking through the forechecking defense. And we are on the Rember. side of March for the first time Pacho. in this game. Nicely oh, done there already, the first attack on the goalkeeper, seconds after they arrived. Now let's see the fire they uh, can light around the, the Malch basket, but I think as far as I've seen, Malch is in ball possession. They strip the ball out of the hands of the Colombians and are pushing forward. Yeah, what? Oh, no, I, I'm I don't just, want to I'm, I'm, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm just uh, reading the, the chat and just uh, looking at the game. Um, we have now, uh, they're trying to recover the ball in the middle of the pool. Both teams, uh, Juan José La Verde, el sub-21, acaba de recuperar el balón, oh. pero también lo acaba de perder. Y Malz, na, es, va a ser un juego rapidísimo ese. Uh, es oh, increíble. Dani, nicely con la rodilla como la tiene. Beautifully uh, caught and played in his own hand. Call from the referee. Didn't see what happened. Let's see the sign from the referee. Free throw against the Colombians, against the Orcas. We can do two channels, one English and one Spanish, but I think it's going to be a mess. No, because that's that's the, if you have, uh, don't have the uh, audio equipment at home, it will just scramble see. up. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, so let's both see. teams probed each other so far. We've been on the Colombian and we've been on the Malf side. And both teams pushed into the defense of their opponent. And uh, now we will see how they take what they learned out of it, uh, two Malch players already waiting around uh, the Colombian basket. Oh, no goalkeeper now on the Colombian basket. This is a dangerous moment. Uh, they play very open style. They risk uh, uh, to Alenio. be caught Somewhere. in the open. You can concentrate here on the Malch players. Yes. <laughs> And now we have Oviedo, that captain against captain, but the ball Call was from the dropped. referee. Don't see the sign. Another free throw against uh, Colombia. So far, uh, these two teams are looking at each other on the same uh, level of uh, confidence and... <laughs> and... Uh, capability here to deal with the other one. There is one uh, mulch player under the basket of Colombia. Call from the referee. I think it was pushing, yeah, the mulch player who just went up, pushed uh, the a Colombian bit, goalkeeper. Yeah. They were playing a little bit, pushing each other before as well. Let's see. But the free throw against uh, mulch. First free throw against mulch. We already had two because against of Colin, Colombia. Yeah. No, it was pushing. It's pushing. Pushing, okay, see, si, pushing. What did I say? Hold me. Yeah, I was just seeing if you're listening what I'm saying. Great so, game so far. Selly. And here we go, another attack from Colombia above, but uh, Malch is 
really good into position defending and it's hard for the Colombians to get in and uh, they don't let the Colombians swim uh, their share around uh, the mulch basket and I have to say Colombia is pushing Delis. in without hesitation they don't uh, play around they go in as fast as they can ball lost here by number 10 Simon uh, lost the ball and uh, it was stripped out of his hands by a Malch player who tries now to break free. Really forceful movement to see by these players. Uh, comparing to weight, I think we have a little bit of advantage on the Colombian side. And uh, back again on the Colombian basket. Malch does a pretty good job to keep uh, yes, the, the ball and attacking and coming over the, the close world champion corner. at bay. And now it's a little bit chaotic, good change in the goalies, but the uh, ball is really still over the close side. Mulch is owning the space under the goalkeeper of Colombia, but now we see Colombian counter-attack. Three Colombian players going forward into the defense. They're waiting on both sides. The player in the middle tries to get away with the ball, and they're breaking out again, swimming around the basket, opening up the space to create a gap. And player number six... Is waiting for his teammates to show up. Perico. Yeah, they're defending almost with two men down. Malz, I mean, it's really. Uh, Eindrucksvolle Spiel hier von Malz gegen den uh, Weltmeister und uh, Champions Cup Champion. Coming over the close corner, trying to attack. Es ist wirklich ein Spiel auf Augenhöhe, was wir hier sehen. Die Malzer äh, fit, wach, äh, auch im Angriff, wenn sie auf die äh, kolumbianische Verteidigung losgehen, liegen schon bereit äh, und machen es den Kolumbianern wirklich, äh, machen wirklich Chaos bei denen in der Verteidigung äh, und sind sofort bereit. Und äh, hier sehen wir gerade, dass die Kolumbianer nicht so richtig in die Verteidigung reinkommen von Malz. No. Die liegen wirklich. da wirklich sehr massiv. Yeah. Wirklich nicht. Also Marsch macht gerade wirklich einen super Job und hält also fast mit zwei, drei, vier Leute runter die Kolumbien. Aber jetzt Samuel just got the ball and is trying to attack from above. Pass it down on the other side. Uh, Chula Verde that could not attack. I think now Federico has the ball, the, the ball and is going up in the surface, being tackled away. Next Colombian just got the ball. Um, could be Rembe, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Incredible defense work by Malch here. They, they seem to anticipate the movements of the fast swimming, fast playing uh, Colombians who play safer than they did against uh, the other teams we saw in the Champions Cup. And now they lost oh, the ball. Wow, oh, recovered by Rembrandt. Well, Incredible effort by Rembrandt here. Recovered by Rembrandt. A ver, uh, Federico que viene con el balón y a ver qué Pacho está tratando a ver si puede recibirlo y viniendo desde el lado cerrado por lo menos eh, contener el balón ahí. Pero donde, creo el resto está cambiando. Half the time uh, of the first half is over and uh, here Colombia is pushing out number 11 pushing into the goal next number 2 coming afterwards pa but there Pacho. is always always a uh, Malch player ready to to stop this attack it's incredible the defense work we see here from Malch they so, are really so they're almost a step ahead of the attacks of yes. the Orcas incredible Something call from happened. the referee oh it interesting it was too bubbly we couldn't see Two minutes. Two minutes for a Mouch player and free throw against Mouch. And time out for Wow. Entonces so acaban de echar a un jugador de Mouch dos minutos. Todavía no nos enteramos por qué ni qué jugador es. Ahora cuando lo vea quizás podamos saber qué pasó. Y Mouch entonces acaba de pedir un minuto. Uh, en la final right. tienen, they have in the final one time out per half side, right? Yes. Um, so it's in the strafzeit here for Mouch. Two minutes. Um, für zwei, für zwei Minuten wird Malsch jetzt in Unterzahl spielen gegen die kolumbianische Mannschaft. Ähm, das wird eine große Herausforderung. Ähm, wenn eine Mannschaft das managen kann, dann Malsch in dem Moment, was wir hier gesehen haben. Trotzdem ist es äh, ein harter Schlag in dem Moment, ähm, weil einfach ein kompletter Spieler fehlt und äh, wir haben gesehen, wie sie die Angriffsspiele der Kolumbianer abgefedert und abgefangen haben. Mit einem Spiel weniger wird es wesentlich schwieriger. Estamos viendo realmente cómo el equipo eh, alemán está defendiendo con todo lo que tiene. Tienen dos defensas, tienen los atacantes que van a, a controlar y a, reco a recobrar el balón. Y realmente el equipo de Orcas ha empezado lento, pero más y más y más ha empezado a atacar 
más cerca, pero sin casi, o sea, teniendo muy pocas posibilidades de entrar realmente en el contacto con la portería, porque eh, los chicos de Mars están verdaderamente pegados a la portería. O sea, sin embargo, para mí, eh, Orcas está controlando el partido, por lo menos para mí. Orcas es right now in the last one minute controlling the game, and Mars is reacting. Reacting, reacting all in the a way. very, very uh, concentrated super good, way. But, yeah. but, but Orcas yeah. is, is doing the pace. Um, so, uh, and, and I know that some of the, 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 the players from Mars really were looking forward to play against Orcas. Yes, absolutely. And they were even I looking would. forward to play against Colombia <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the World Cup. So I think that's uh, the nice. So I'm curious how uh, Mars will react and if uh, um, the Colombians will go uh, into this a chance with as much push as they have to go out of these two minutes with a 1-0 lead at least. Another call from the referee. It's going to be rough, that's for sure, in the next two minutes because Malch has to play Ahora physical tiene... to keep uh, the Colombians at bay. Colombia tiene que meter todo lo que tiene ahora que los demás están con cinco jugadores. Esta es la oportunidad de meter el gol. This is the opportunity for the Colombian team Absolutely. to score. Not that, I mean, Ay, a ver, la verde. Oh, we see Pacho, a lot of Colombian players messing around uh, the Malch basket, but Malch is trying to control, hold the ball, and uh, wait the call the time down uh, until their uh, sixth player is in the water. We are on the surface in a cluster on the surface. Another call from the referee. I think it was someone stepping on the step here, not allowed, and it's uh, yeah. Free throw against Colombia. Good chance for Malt to relieve their defense and go in the offense, control the ball. Time is ticking. 45 seconds left in the time penalty for the Malch player outside of the game. Uh, so, very well done by Malch to stop uh, the game of the Colombians in these two minutes with uh, one player less. So, getting ready for the free throw. There's one Colombian right behind the line of defense of Malta. He's trying to attack the ball from the back. Wow, interesting technique. <laughs> and it, it's a Pacho. A ver, and we have two Malch players and two Colombians. Samuel in the mix there and Pacho. Uh, someone should be lying behind be, uh, on the bottom just to grab the ball if someone let it go and uh, let's see the ball drop and something happened apparently holding right looks like uh, holding its free throw against Malch and Malch is back in full force six players in the water and we have uh, four and a half minutes left in the first half free throw for Colombia Now Malch is with six players back in the water. So now, let's see. Next Colombian trying to attack from above. That's uh, Daniel Arias, Caleño, viniendo por el medio, tratando de pasarla a la izquierda. No sé quién se posicionó del otro oh, lado. Y Ochoa the debajo. Um, the next uh, of Samuel recovered the ball. And now they are withdrawing a little bit behind and starting again. Arias, Samuel, and... Whoa, nicely on the open side. There's a big chaos right there. A lot of Colombians, a lot of German, and now uh, the German team Columbia recover. Really and it's hard. a counter-attack, but more than a counter-attack, it's just bringing the ball away because they probably a little bit exhausted from that you know, few minutes of being attacked constantly. So let's see. It's a lot of pushing in the area with the ball. Now they're coming from the close side. Call a from lot the of referee. Pushing, I think. Okay, free throw against, against the Orcas. Zero, zero. Interesting in this left. situation. Uh, um, was uh, Orca in ball possession? Uh, I couldn't see because they were on the other side. And uh, Here we go. Free throw and uh, less than three minutes left. It's... Uh, Mulch intercedes very much, uh, intercepts very much the, the gameplay of the Orcas. It's a very effective strategy we see here they're, they're uh, executing. 
and uh, they they intercept the free flow uh, swarm style of uh, the Colombians. Oh, in that the was second. a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, Pachat re uh, recovered the ball from Fede, who was trying to pass, but it's in incredible uh, how much the room in the pool is being covered by the players yes. of, of Mals. They they swim yeah. like in yeah. lines, yes, <laughs> and and they don't allow it, you know, because. The, the, the Colombians are also very good. They're at everywhere. Yep. Malch is really, um, uh, literally everywhere in this pool. Uh, all the players are like playing double. Another call from the referee. It's free throw against Colombia. I don't, don't see why. Well, it's a lot going on at Oh, uh, Malch was trying to steal the basket, but the Colombians react quickly. Oviedo went on the basket, and now we have. Three blue around and four even, and all the Colombians trying to get that ball. Sadly, it's an incredible tough game side. we see here, and uh, these two games, two two teams, really uh, play on the, on an incredible rugby level with a lot of physical, forceful. Look at these movements, how the the. Uh, Colombian players tries to break free, but is holding. Yeah, it's like weaving a web uh, inside the water. A lot of movement, a lot of uh, nicely played Lambert. outside. Está intentando pasarla para el otro lado. Está Federico. Oh, what well, great recovery! Uh, counter attack. Oh, counter attack! I think it's Jochen Schottmüller going for yeah. the Colombian basket with a lot of speed. He's a very powerful player, but and was stopped. Wow. He was out of air, but uh, Arias, he was he got injured the yeah. the knee like two weeks ago. Amazing recovery. That Euroleague. was really dangerous. La Verde is a very good goalkeeper. Was called there. No, La Verde is not there. No, it was, was Pablo. Uh, Pablo, I think was sorry. <laughs> That was an, an incredible counter attack uh, of uh, Jochen Schottmüller. That was very dangerous. I impressive, but he couldn't uh, finalize uh, against two players. But he was at the, the one player in time. This is a very exhausting game we see here. They play with a lot of uh, speed, with a lot of uh, physical force, and uh, they are stopping each other in uh, in, in every second uh, within the pool. Another call and from the referee. The end, of the end of the first, first half. half. Uh, wow, I'm, uh, uh, give me five, Lorena. Thank you. We managed the first half without a heart uh, attack. This is really, this is really um, breathtaking. Both teams are playing really, really, really good. I mean, they have deep, completely different styles. <laughs> they have completely different styles, uh, but they are neutralizing each other. I mean, they had situations where risky for both. They could have scored goals both, and they're covering so much playing area. It's really yeah, very nice to see. It's uh, um, these two teams are uh, uh, showing us what rugby is if you don't go into clusters, if you have a free. Well, they have been play, fighting yes. a little bit, but yeah, but, yeah. but it's not like it's within seconds resolved. Uh, they they just cluster up and tear out the, the ball and then we have a flow again. It's not much stopping uh, this whole no. uh, process, the whole game. It's amazing to see. It's, it's... Say something in German for the German fans. Yeah, also ich uh, habe gerade schon auf, auf Englisch gesagt, das ist ein unglaubliches Spiel, wie sich die beiden Mannschaften hier begegnen. Um, auf Augenhöhe und uh, Malch auch ziemlich uh, unbeeindruckt von dem uh, Weltmeister und dem Champions Cup Meister. Um, sie haben wirklich eine Strategie entwickelt, den kompletten Raum des Pools dreidimensional uh, zu kontrollieren und die Kolumbianer an, an jedem Punkt zu stoppen. Also dieses, was wir kennen von den Kolumbianern, dieses freie Schwimmen im, im Raum, wo sie wirklich den, den Raum aufmachen und man nicht mehr weiß, wo der Ball ist und wo die Spieler sind, das stoppen die Malche schon in den, in den Ansätzen. Und das ist natürlich macht es den, äh, ähm, also Malche, äh, den, den, den Kolumbianern extrem schwer, ihr Spiel aufzubauen und zusammenzuspielen. Grandios und auch der, der Konter und auch die Gefährlichkeit von Malch, dann umzuschalten und nach vorne zu gehen, Uh, und Druck aufs kolumbianische Tor zu machen, ist uh, sehr ja. beeindruckend. A ver, gente, en Colombia, ¿cómo estamos? 
¿Cómo estamos? Eh, eso está duro. El, el equipo de Mals es un equipo muy bueno. Están cubriendo toda la piscina, lo estábamos diciendo en inglés y en alemán, toda la piscina tridimensional. Los chicos de Orcas normalmente nadan en esa tridimensionalidad, hacen esas trenzas que normalmente hacen los chicos de hockey, pero lo hacen en toda la piscina, en los cuatro metros de profundidad. Y eh, realmente el equipo de Mals está frenando cada, cada movimiento, cada vez que quiere intentar a, a nadar, tienen una línea, o sea, se están cortando en líneas, y entonces los jugadores de, de, de Orcas no están pudiendo realmente hacer esas fantásticas um, ataques de, de contraataque con una velocidad y llegar a la portería, sino que están siendo frenados todo el tiempo, han tenido buenos ataques, han tenido un par de contras de match que han sido también difíciles y que han salvado, o sea, 15 minutos faltan y la verdad que esto es un partido duro para los dos equipos. Impressive, uh, all together and uh, rugby as yes, we want to see And we have 15 minutes of it ahead. And uh, I, Lorena, I couldn't uh, um, tell who's the dominant team in this, in this uh, match. Uh, Who is the dominant? Yeah. I think it's, it's really difficult well, to say. For me, I think right now, but this could be also German. I think Orcas are a little bit more attacking and, and more... Uh, little bit of controlling the game, game, but just a little bit more. Let's say 60 percent. And Mars is a little bit more reacting, but it's also, I think, it's a little bit the way the Germans are. They are defending because they are expect, they're waiting for them to come to recover the ball and go. So, 60 for the Colombian team, 40 for Mars. This is would be what I feel like because also when they react toward the orcas, they then immediately uh, are active in what they do when they attack. But they're just. Um, not being able to be in control of the ball as long as the uh, Orcas team does. No. And I'm not seeing that the attack of Orcas are more effective because they, do, they did have a few times, but they couldn't really achieve the goal. And they have, but they have been around the goal of Malz longer than what Malz has done around them. So that's what I would say. And uh, we have a post here from Jody Wilson who says uh, we are lucky to play against both of these teams. Uh, impressive final. Yeah, this is what the Champions Cup of is for um, every year. Uh, new, even new teams or teams like uh, from far away, like the Australians, are able to play against world champions and uh, against uh, teams, top teams like Malch or uh, Hesu. So this is an, an, a learning curve, uh, something you take with you. And uh, we hear from a lot of players after they played at the Champions Cup, the whole rollover training improved. So back in the game, Malch in ball possession from the start. But uh, under heavy attack by the, for checking uh, of Colombia. Free throw for uh, Malsh. And now we have an attack from the close side. And that ball got lost right in the attack. And a counter attack. Oh, fast counter attack. Celis, I think it's in a counter attack. Super fast. Alone, pass it down to the next player. La Verde on the one side. I couldn't see who is in the close side. Still, the, co the Colombians are controlling La Verde the ball. trying to attack. Trying to pass on the other side, just pass it to Calenio. Calenio recovered and is feeling attacked by two. Call from the referee. No, no, no. Oh, penalty! penalty. It's a penalty, penalty. against Mars. Penal, penal, chicos. Acaban de cobrar un penal. Holy moly, a favor de Orcas. Dios. Ay, ay, ay. Me, si me va a dar, me va a dar oh, there, was, there was an incredible attack uh, by the Orcas, and uh, you could see the defense timeout by the Orcas, and Acaban you could see the un... defense from Malsh. Uh, really interfered with uh, the the normal attack. Uh, La Verde couldn't do his uh, normal thing, just like stomping the ball into the yeah. uh, the basket. But nevertheless, they forced uh, the team from Germany to make a mistake and uh, to have the shoulder or holding onto the basket. Whatever happened here, so we have a penalty throw against Malsh. Uh, Let's see who's gonna execute that one. I'm close to a heart attack. Medicine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have my, my uh, uh, tummy is also, whoa, and my heart is beating very fast. And my hearts are really with both uh, um, 
with both teams. We love both teams. I couldn't, I couldn't really see what was the penalty. It was holding or shoulder or anything because it was too crowded, and uh, Juan Jose was right there in the front, yeah. blocking the whole view from the from the penalty. But he he was, you know. But that's a good point to say thank you to the referees of the Champions Cup 2019. Yeah. Incredible work, very exhausting work to be concentrated um, and to stay in the games all all uh, day long. It's uh, it's a, an honor for the for them to uh, do the refereeing here, but also it's exhausting and hard work. So thanks to the referees of the Champions Cup uh, 31 here in Berlin and uh, the referees are going down. Let's see who is going to execute. I can see, cannot see the number. Samuel. Samuel, Samuel Gaviria, Gaviria, the captain of the team. And, and Jochen Schottmiller, the captain of Malch, is the on the basket. Ah, no, uh, Christian Prowald is uh, the captain, I think. Oh, this is going to be tough. Samuel just uh, tested, goes up again. And we have Very 30 experience. seconds left. Both are incredibly experienced players. Oh, that was close. No! Goal. Goal from Samuel. Samuel Very well executed. He changed the ball. The ball. Yeah. Yes, but uh, changed the hands and put it with the and, other. And with that movement, uh, he could uh, outplay Jochen on the basket. So it's a 1-0 lead in a penalty shooting for the Colombians, for the Orcas from Colombia. And we have uh, oh, still yeah, yeah. a little bit less than 30 minutes left in the second half. Yeah, but so still the bets are open. everything can happen. Yes. Wow, ok, 1 a 0 acaba de meter Samuel un golazo en el penalti, eh, ahora hay que ver con cuidado porque mal se va a venir con todo, son muy peligrosos también, y queda todavía 12 minutos del partido. Ok, so counter attack from uh, Colombia, 3 Orcas, 3 Mals, and here we are underneath the Mals uh, goal. Um, this uh, a blocked ball there, nothing is moving. Oviedo recovered it. Pacho got is trying to go on the other side, waiting. Federico received the pass. Rember is behind the defender, and uh, they are going over the close side. So, uh, this is now a, a match really has to step up here and uh, push forward. Um, in the next 11 and a half minutes to equalize and uh, to force Orcas in defense and work on their uh, breaking up their defense to score. Otherwise, they, uh, the Orcas will force them in the, in the German defense and not able to score. And uh, as I see it right now, the Orcas are not uh, giving up uh, their possession on the ball around the German basket. Ah, here we go, here we go. Like uh, as much as I say it, Jochen Mühle, yeah. ball possession. And here is Malch coming into the defense perimeter on the heavy attack by the forechecking of the Colombians. Two March players now under the basket. Heavily pressed out of the defending area. Ten minutes and a half left. This is an incredible game. This is powerful, fast underwater rugby. And uh, both teams uh, look like they stepped up uh, uh, a little and push even harder in the, each other's defense. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm really... Uh, watching Serena the, the the build here uh, they're attacking over the corner and still uh, well just recovered Whoa. the ball uh, Colombia is trying to start the counter attack but uh, Malch is blocking everywhere well, great recovery by this pass and the Colombia playing was bringing him as Oviedo outside the playing area let's see if it worked out so they could he could provoke a it's free throw, throw against Colombia all right I would have thought that Yeah, Oviedo here. thought too, but uh, it looked like the referee decided uh, Colombia was in ball possession. So free throw against Colombia. Actually, Colombia was in possession of the play that was in possession of the <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, free throw against uh, Colombia. And uh, that was intercepted by 
uh, another Colombian player. Nevertheless, uh, Germany just recovered, and uh, it's trying to see how they swim around. Uh, Rembert trying there to come along oh. and uh, get the ball. Wow! Oh, Amazing dangerous movement here. It was a, they, the, the players tried to push the ball away from the dangerous zone, uh, but the, the player waiting there couldn't recover it, and we are already in front of the Colombia of the, the German basket here. And uh, this was a dangerous move, but uh, saved by Malsch. And back and forth now in the middle of the pool. Both teams doing a battle of uh, forechecking on the highest level. Back and forth, waiting for each other, interfering, intercepting, stealing the ball, stripping the ball of each other's hands. And the game is kind of... this, Yeah. Let's see, Mals is trying now to come with a counter-attack, but it's so impossible to really swim through a counter-attack and, and to go really fast to the other side because either both teams are, you know, stopping each player and not making that possible. I mean, the underwater time of each player here is really amazing. Uh, now we have, uh, again, uh, the um, Arias and El Arias uh, Ochoa, uh, trying to keep at this the ball in front of the basket and waiting for the rest of the team to arrive. Coming over the close corner, one player of Colombia pos positioned right behind uh, the goalie, but the ball has been intercepted and I think it's a free throw now for uh, Miles. We don't have the microphone in the pool anymore because they are already, you know, removing it. Everything. Seven and a half uh, minutes left. Second half here of game number 58, Champions Cup uh, 31. Are we offline? No, here, I mean, we look like, oh, oh, that was almost a second goal for Colombia. It was a counter-attack and the Mals team just arrived one second. That was really, really, really dangerous. Uh, let's see, uh, Colombia is really attacking so, so hard uh, on the Mals goal. And it's very, it's amazing what the German team is doing, not really committing any any mistake. Just one, almost one, but they save it in the very last second. So we have now. And now the uh, Colombian players are pushing in from the open side ah, yes. into the basket defense area. It's incredible how they can hold on to the ball and there is always a Colombian player waiting to receive the ball and then uh, as soon as they have it, they leave the dangerous area, swim around the basket. But this time wow, uh, the ball recovery. was stripped out of the hand of Colombian From players Michel. and March is owning the ball, passing back to the goalkeeper. Always a dangerous situation in this moment. But uh, pretty well saved here and March is on uh, the way to the Colombian basket. Right now, I would say Colombia has been much more in control of the game, but let's see if Malch can do something now in this uh, attack. And it's still five and a half minutes to go. Uh, they are in the surface, in the corner, and uh, the ball is in the hands of Colombia that starts the next counter attack and just continues swimming in the corner. Federico and La Verde trying to pass the forwards, uh, still there. Calenio acaba de re, uh, recibir el paso, el pase y está tratando de eh, quitar al defensor, pasar el balón. ¿Quién está? Uh, Ochoa. It's three oh, Germans. A There's a lot of chaos. Heavy skirmish under the mulch basket. Saved by Johan Schottmüller here. Uh, that was that was really physical. Uh, what happened here? Both teams are now getting in close contact under basket. Oh. Uh, Christian Prova tried to push through and uh, forward to do a counter swim. And now we have a counter attack of a Colombian player that's again, nope, was called. Oh. Okay. Um, Daniel Arias. Daniel uh, Arias. 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 Daniel Arias. Uh, we saw him uh, with a fast counter attack in the EuroLeague. Uh, and timeout of... by Malch, know, by the German yeah. team Malch. I thought on the end already. I mean, we had five minutes still to go. Ay, ay, ay. Wieso was auf Deutsch sagen? 
Wir sind ein bisschen äh, aus der Puste hier vom Kommentieren von diesem äh, krassen Spiel der beiden Mannschaften. Äh, Riesenkompliment an Malsch äh, für die Leistung, die sie hier gegen den Weltmeister ins Wasser bringen. Ähm, ohne den Strafwurf, den sie kassiert haben, ähm, wäre es immer noch 0 zu 0. Ähm, und beide Mannschaften gucken sich wirklich auf Augenhöhe äh, an. Äh, unglaublich schnelles, hartes Spiel streckenweise, vor allem wenn Kolumbianer in den Malscher äh, Verteidigungsraum versuchen einzudringen, wird es wirklich äh, sehr körperlich, wird sehr hart gearbeitet, so äh, keinenfalls unfair, aber man, man hört es schon teilweise fast knacken in den Bildern, äh, wenn die beiden wenn die Spieler der beiden Mannschaften aufeinandertreffen. Increíble lo que está haciendo Colombia aquí, está dominando el partido, matieron un gol por penalti, pero mal se está defendiendo, es un rival fuerte, no le perdonan una, tienen que estar muy cuidadosos con lo que hacen, están controlando también cada, cada pequeño avance del equipo de Orcas, vamos a ver porque quedan cuatro minutos y todavía todo es posible. Four and a half minutes left here in the second half and uh, the, the, it's getting more and more agitated under the Colombian basket now, uh, nice defense here and nice save by the Colombians But uh, Malchus is instantly on the path. Oh, this is another fast uh, counterattack. Uh, Celis Manuel uh, is, uh, was pushing forward but stopped waiting for his teammates. Three, almost less than four minutes and we are back at Mal's goal. And Mal's is really having problems. They could attack a few times, but really having problems to leave their basket. They're defending well, but um, they are not really being able to provoke a lot of mistakes on the side of the Colombian side. Let's see if they can recover the ball to counter-attack somehow, but they're still in the corner and the Colombians players keep moving the ball, moving the ball and attacking eventually. They don't stop, they don't go, they don't play safe. Orcas don't play safe. They keep playing and attacking regardless of the result of the... This is something I really like from their game. So we have Celis attacking from above, trying to continue playing, passing down on the other side Incredible and being intercepted. how long they stay on the water. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing. Both teams have... Uh, Incredible underwater times. I would love to put a sensor in their earmuffs uh, to know how long that these planes nice stay down. That would have this final yeah. with sensor. Oh, another fast break uh, of number four. Daniel Arias, uh, they are a very fast player. Oh, they almost, they intercept. Uh, and two the and a half minutes, uh, around two and a half minutes left uh, in this uh, game, in this final game of the Man Champions Cup uh, 31. And uh, the time is working for the Orcas from Colombia. They were still ruling Champions Cup champion from uh, 2018. And here another attack from the open side. But the number four didn't manage to put enough uh, momentum in the push against the back of the goalkeeper. Oh, call from the referee. Free throw. Free throw against Colombia, yes. Free throw against okay. Colombia. Less, Less than, than two, two minutes. minutes. Let's see left if they can do something. Yeah. Oh. Still, you know, it's not over until it's over. So, um, two minutes enough time to score. Let's see if they can. Uh, wow, recovering off the. It looks like the live stream is. Uh... So. Uh, They are fighting in the middle. Can you still hear me? Can you hear me? They are still fighting in the middle. See. Facebook Live Wolf. Yeah. 